our spec here at the compound. Yeah, you can see uh, <clears throat> my buddy from over there dragged the red Chevy over here now too. I gotta get this stuff out of the way and move these over there because <clears throat> this thing has a tendency to flood and uh, well they are trucks so not likely to be underwater but I'd rather have them up there where the ground is at least a little bit higher well I'm not going to worry about that today because it's not really supposed to rain and I'm going to take down these claims here and my daughter gets out of school early today I wanted her to take that scrap load so what the heck am I going to do with my time because she gets out of school early and I have to go and get her or they put her in after school care Ooh, that was brutal. I just hit that, uh, <clears throat> hit the snow thrower. So which thing won? The snow thrower or the old Sears? Wow, that ripped a hole into the old Sears. Dang. That old MTD, that thing is a heavier gauge steel. This sucker's nothing to play with though, man. This thing's heavy. When we were little kids, we used to have uh, <laughs> such white trash. We'd find like uh, me and my brother, we'd find like an old dryer or washing machine in the in the alley, and we'd put wheels on them and pretend they were like demolition cars, and we'd ram them into each other. And me being me, I'd always grab the the washing machine and, and ram it into the dryer that my brother had. And, the washing machine usually won <laughs> the demolition derby because a couple of really good hits with the washing machine and that was typically the end of the dryer I smell cigarettes okay there's somebody inside that school bus over there I don't know what the hell they're doing kind of mechanic you always get that feeling you're being watched all right we have Ian Matthews and he's wondering what makes this copying machine so heavy my claim is my claim is it's the, the bottom is heavy Oh, it's got a cash box in there. Doesn't sound like there's any coinage inside. We'll sledge that open anyway. That's some high-grade boards. But that's not at the bottom part, that's in the upper part. Yeah, I'm claiming it's the steel. Alright, let's see how much of this thing falls apart when it lands on the ground. Wow. Ian Matthews is like take it apart take it to bits and there's a mirror I've got a chip in it now it's a double sided mirror that's interesting hmm there's some wiring I don't know maybe we'll rip this thing apart Some copper parts in here. Sucker is heavy. 
heavy though. Well, this piece is heavy for, for its size. If that makes any sense. It appears to be the gauge of steel that, that this thing is constructed from. Because it's it's engineered for public use, so typically something engineered for public use is made of heavier gauge material. Ah, wish they wish they had some nickels and dimes in there. Well, I don't hear anything jangling around. So, since I gotta get my daughter from school early, I've got enough time to take that to the yard, and I desperately need to empty that thing out because Memorial Weekend, which apparently, you know, being Friday, people already have that, they already have that vacay mood. Or as the British call it, a uh, taking holiday. We call it something slightly different, but the meaning's the same. Even though the words are kind of interchangeable. When you say holiday to an American, you're thinking of an occasional day such as like Christmas. And then along with Christmas comes Christmas vacation. Christmas vacation is uh, a time period, probably like 14 days or so, interconnecting with New Year's. Where people are typically out of school and Work is generally slowed down, generally, but not entirely. If you're in the low wage job sector, you're gonna have to fight for 15 minutes of uh, You're gonna have to fight for freaking 15 minutes of free time. <clears throat> That's where scrapping is living the dream. Okay. And fighting with nobody over 15 minutes of freaking uh. But of course. If you're working for somebody, the benefit of working for somebody else is um, they usually pay you more. Time and a half, double time, sometimes even like if you're in your union, you can get triple time. And triple time. How about the vacation? Right? Now soak up that gravy. But the way the taxes are structured, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but if you make $300 a week, and now because you're getting time and a half or double time or even triple time, you're taxed at the rate of pay as if you were paid that way every day of the year. So your check, your triple time check is in an entirely different income tax bracket. So you end up losing a good portion of that cash. Because you go from being, let's say you're an entry level job like minimum wage or some something slightly above and you're 15% so 
suddenly you find yourself in 35% tax bracket. And you'd be like, you know, counting your pennies in your head that you're going to be taking home. And when you get your check, you're like, what? Where's the rest of it? Oh, uncle took it. Yep. So, there's a limit to, there's a limit to those dreams there. There's a lot of give and take. So my claim is I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna tighten that. Man, I got my work cut out for me no matter which way I turn, even at home. You should see what I'm doing at my house. Wow. <laughs> I think I'd, for me to take a vacation, I'd have to ride a rocket ship to the, to the moon or Mars to get away from everything. And it ain't going to happen, so. Yeah. So when this guy pushed this, pushed, put this truck here, Looks like he set it down right here. You see the skid marks in the dirt. He must have lifted it up. He sure didn't use that caterpillar that's inside that warehouse. Had to have used something a lot, a lot larger. Way larger. Because I... A Caterpillar 906 would have flipped over. <laughs> that sucker weighs 4,200 pounds. I know that rubber tired uh, Caterpillar can't never manage that. Looks like it could, but Nope. So, what I'm going to do is different than what I was dreaming the other day. Because see how the plans changed? See how my plans are always kind of constantly in flux? What I wanted to do was stack these and then people watching this video. Well, why don't you spend the time micro-scrapping it? Because <laughs> we have a three-day holiday coming. And there's not going to be any money coming in. And that's a problem. And the pallet place is right, like about a few blocks away from where my daughter's school is at. So since I'm going that way, I might as well take a load of something that has value, rather than deadhead with an empty truck. But of course, knowing my luck, on the way from here to there, I'm going to be passing up some scrap. See the dilemmas that are always cooking in my head? And uh, I got about an hour and a half for which with the work. I got those pallets over there. And there's a couple inside the building. My guy go all the way around to get at those. I got all these. I got a couple of random ones stuck in a pile there when we got them so yeah let's do this let's get to work maybe I'll relocate the truck put it a little bit closer to the work for once hey and as a benefit my place is more cleared out so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna take that thing apart but judging from what I can see right now it's engineered for public use and the only thing that I can think of that makes it weigh so much hey geese <clears throat> is the fact that it was engineered for public use and the steel is really thick Not a real lot to it. This is a 
Look at the bottom. It's a Minolta. This is the part he's probably curious about. So, yeah, I get a, um, a drill driver and uh, I'll go to town on the sucker and we'll take it to bits. We'll figure it out what's going on there. But I'm not going to do that right now. I have more pressing issues. <laughs> Before it was in my hands, it only needed minor repair. <laughs> Uh, yeah, junkyard mentality. All right, guys. Next video, I'll bore you with me loading the truck with the uh, pallets, and maybe I'll take that truck later. I don't know. But then the thing is, is I'm gonna have to go to a different yard with that truck because the other yard. I gotta clear this off too. I got a couple people commenting about clearing this off. I have to get you know, some insurance papers on there and stuff. I'll clean this off. Something got melted and spilled there. Yeah. Maybe empty up the truck a bit. Oh yeah, he's independently wealthy. There's money laying, random money like laying everywhere. Losing weight, but find myself in the McDonald's drive through Need to kind of back off of that a bit. But people blame McDonald's for people being uh, fat and overweight, and that's kind of a misnomer. That's not really the case. <sighs> Alright. Look at those guys can eat all freaking day, man. They don't really get fat. That's actually what humans are designed to do too, is we're not designed to eat all this processed food. We're designed to eat pretty much on and off all day long and forage for our food. <clears throat> Evolution and mother nature have not caught up to uh, technology. Alrighty, see you in the next video. Bye.